Hi, Jason here from TGN. All right, so today I'm going to go through with you on how to use Unified Protect with a Synology NAS with its surveillance station. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through step by steps on the RSTP portion. Okay, do not worry about the video stream of a Unified Protect camera only on the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus or the UDM Pro. You can also similarly stream the video onto a Synology NAS by using RSTP. Okay, so today's video it will be slightly longer where I will go through with you step by steps on that. Now, for my Synology that I'm using today, it will be on the Synology DS1621XS Plus. Okay, that's besides the point. Any NAS will do uh, with Synology. And every NAS that comes with Synology, it comes with two free camera license. Okay, in this case, I'm just going to use only one of the camera license to demonstrate on the RSTP. Okay, and if you have any questions with regards to this video, all right, uh, you can go through the whole video. And if you have any questions, just feel free to write in the comments. Okay, and if the video has been contributing to you, uh, please do remember to subscribe to our channel or like our videos. Okay, so now let's move on to the browser portion. Now, in this case, for my demonstration today, I am actually using a Gen 2 Plus Cloud Key, which you can see over here. Okay, now I'm going to go into my Protect. Okay, so in my Unify Protect, okay, you'll see that I actually have one camera here, which is the G3 Pro. Okay, and it has been running for the past few days. Okay, and you can see it and it's running. And so what's going to do is I'm just going to cl click and highlight on it. All right, I'm just going to show you and go through you. This is the general view right now that's on the camera, right? Which is now recording into the G3, uh, G2 Plus, okay? Under the general, all right, so the microphone is in use, okay? And recording wise, um, as per normal, all you got to do is just go to manage, okay? Click on RSTP, okay? So what you got to do is you can adjust the images that you want, okay? Or at the same time, uh, you can choose medium or low, alright? So in this case, I'm going to select the RSTP for secure, alright? So I'm using RSTP secure, like hang on, let me make sure that I have all the details in here, okay? So I've got secure here, and I'm going to jump over to my Synology NAS, and over at my NAS, I'm going to trigger the civilian station, so with the surveillance station, what's going to happen is I'm going to have the camera running. Okay, so on the Synology surveillance station, all you have to do is just go to IP cam. Okay, from the IP cam, you're just going to add a camera. Okay, by adding a camera, I will say you select complete complete setup. Okay, so that'll be easier. And what you do is in terms of brand, just go to user define. All right. And in this case, they are using the normal RSTP, okay? So all you have to do is just go back and click and copy the unsecure RSTP, okay? All you have to do is just paste it here. Now, at the same time, you have to remove the front, okay? You have to remove the front and only start from the 192.168, okay? And once that's done, test connection, okay? You want this technology to be talking to the Unified G3 Pro in my case, okay? Once that's done, you can put a name, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a name for the camera, okay? I'm going to give it a name, okay? And that's done, okay? Now, don't change anything on the brand, all right? Don't change anything on the brand, okay? Don't change anything on the brand, all right? Leave it as it is, okay? Now, um... It's the Sino talking to the G3, okay, to, to G2, sorry. It's called talking to the G2 plus, all right, to get the video stream, okay. So it's pulling the video stream, okay, from the G2 plus, okay, from over here, the G2 plus, to the Synology itself, okay. Once that's done, we just click next, okay. Once, if it next, you can choose any of your configurations that you want. You can change the resolution and change whatever you want to change but for the purpose of this video i'm just going to leave it as it is all right and at the same time you can assign the amount of space you want from the folder for this particular camera okay i'm just going to leave it customized uh, standard at 10 gb and click next now you can select if you want to record it based on motion all right or continuous okay so it, it's up to you okay 
all you have to do is just select and maybe during the days where you are in office it can be continuous in the night it can be motion sensor okay once that's done click next all right and it's that's it it's as simple as that and to see it using the Synology you can just use, go to live view or you can use DSM DS cam which is a free app from Synology to view the ubiquity cameras okay so over here there and there you can see here that you have two uh, ways to store your video stream even if you're using a ubiquity unified camera okay one which is the G2 plus another which would be the uh, UDM Pro or the MVR okay so these are the various avenues that you have okay to do and see all these videos that you have from the Unify okay so do not just restrict yourself when you're using Unify Protect okay other than the G2 Plus the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus the UDM Pro the UNVR okay you can also similarly use a NAS all right that accepts RSTP okay and thereby having a backup of the video that you have all right so it treat it as a form of backup or the other way around is for you to have additional or extra avenue for you to view your videos that you have from the unified protect okay so thank you very much for viewing my quick video on this if you like the video please click like or if you find my channel is useful please remember to subscribe to our channel thank you very much